Well, hello everyone. This is LaShonda Lee here and I welcome you to our afternoon Jewels of Success coaching show. I am LaShonda Lee. I am the CEO and founder of Walk in Favor Life Coaching. And here at Walk in Favor, what we do is we help accelerate women's personal and professional achievements by creating unique action plans that will increase your happiness, increase your uh, fulfillment in life increase your spiritual development that's what we do and on our show what I like to do is share with you principles and tips that are gonna help you get unstuck and become unstoppable and so I am excited to be with you every afternoon Monday through Friday, just again being able to help you transform your life into one that would be truly satisfying and truly gratifying, right? And for those of you all who follow me, you already know that I absolutely love being out on my deck, especially when it is a beautiful day and so Gia I say hello good afternoon I'm excited that you are with me uh, Miss Ham hello and those of you all who are on Facebook I say hello welcome to our afternoon show for those of you all who are on Periscope I say good evening good afternoon welcome to our show now if you've been following us the last couple of days I've been spending a whole week on identifying where you are right because again like I like to use this example if you are looking if you are utilizing a GPS system and you are looking to go from one destination to the next it is vitally important for you to be able to identify where you are or your GPS system needs to be able to identify where you are so that it can give you the directions and the road map on how to get to your destination right hello miss Jesse and so the same thing with your life. If you desire to live a succulent life, if you desire to live a yummy and rich and rewarding and fulfilling life, you have to be able to identify where you are right now so that you can create the proper game plan to get where you want to go, right? And so here's the thing. We've been identifying for the last few days where you are, and we've done several exercises. And so, I hope you all have your ebook, 10 Steps to Take Control of Your Life and Live It to the Fullest, because that is the roadmap that we are sharing. Hello, Miss Carolyn. And so, that's the game plan, that's the roadmap that we're sharing. And so, today, I want to really be able to help you identify wilderness mindset or wilderness beliefs. And so my question for you today is, do you really have self-belief? Do you really have self-belief? And that is an important question because again, if you want to live the life that you so desire, you have to really believe that it's possible and you must be able to believe in your ability to make it happen. And so my question to you is, Shikolin, okay, thank you. I didn't want to mess it up, Miss Ham, and so I, I knew I would be safe by utilizing your uh, last name. So again, my question to you is, do you really have self-belief? Do you believe in the possibility to have your dream life? Do you believe in your ability to bring your dream life into existence? And you may say, LaShonda, why do I ask? Or maybe, you know what, it's obvious to you as to why I ask. But let me tell you why I specifically ask you that question. And listen, if you haven't already done so, can you share this broadcast right now? Because we are in the beginning stages and I want somebody to be able to catch it live just in case at the end if they have questions, all right? So do me a favor and share this broadcast. And the reason I ask that question because in order for you to take control of your life and live it to the fullest, right? In order for you to have your dream life, you have to move from wanting to genuinely believing in yourself so that you can leverage the amazing power of self-belief. Did you hear what I said? You have to shift from wanting to believe in yourself to actually believing in yourself so that you can tap into the power that is associated with self-belief. And so I'll ask that question again. Do you really have self-belief do you believe in the possibility of your dream life being manifested and do you believe in your ability to make it happen 
So here's the thing. I really want to share with you just so that you can see um, how dangerous it is and not to believe in yourself. Because at the end of the day, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you cannot, you are right. And so this thing right here, this lack of self-belief is one of the things that is preventing people from getting unstuck. It's causing you to continue to hang around in that area of being stuck. It, it is prohibiting you from being unstoppable and simply unstoppable means that it is impossible to stop you from accomplishing the goals that you desire at at all costs you are going to reach that goal and so i want to share with you some symptoms that you uh that you may experience and you may have these experiences yourself or maybe you know someone that has experiences this but see if you can identify it right when you find yourself living in the area where you don't have belief in yourself first of all you are going to fear the future you're gonna fear the future right just because you don't know how to plan you don't know what is gonna happen you don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring but guess what none of us know what tomorrow is going to bring we didn't create it and so at the end of the day you can choose to worry about tomorrow or you can choose to plan for tomorrow have you ever seen someone that worried about everything just worried about everything they never saw uh, the bright side. You know, if they you show them a glass that was half empty, they would tell you it's half empty versus being half full, right? Here's the other thing. A person who does not believe in themselves, I need you to know that they uh, will find themselves needing acceptance from other people. And remember I told you last week that if you have to ask somebody else for permission to live your dream life more than likely you are not going to live your dream life because no one is going to give you permission that's something that you have to tap into yourself and so people who lack self-belief they need the approval and the acceptance of other people right here's the other thing when you lack self-belief and these what I'm talking about is wilderness belief wilderness mindset they're gonna keep you going around in circles you're never going to get anywhere you're gonna continue to go in circles and circles and circles because these beliefs in this mindset is not serving you as a matter of fact it's doing a disservice to you so if you lack belief in yourself it's going to be absolutely impossible for you to bring about the life that you desire here's another thing people who lack belief in themselves they need to explain everything they need to explain and give reasons for their actions to everybody have you ever um have someone ever asked you to do something and you said no but before you can just let that be no you went into explaining why you said no you gave reasons for everything that you did see that's a sign that you lack belief in yourself because at the end of the day you don't owe anybody an explanation if you say no it's no it's just not gonna work out for you and so here's the thing when you lack belief in yourself you will find the need to explain your actions to everybody if you lack belief, you're going to find yourself being very indecisive. How many of you find it difficult to make simple and complex decisions? You just can't make decisions on the spot. Even with all the information, it's still a challenge for you to make decisions. See, that's an indicator that you lack belief in yourself. And here's the other thing. You make excuses. You know, here's the thing. You can make excuses or you can live your dream life. But I promise you, you cannot do both. And so as your coach today, your, your lifestyle catalyst, I'm here to tell you that there are dangers in not believing in yourself, right? So when you identify where you are, you must confront this thing called lack of self-belief. You must confront it. You can't allow it to just linger and wander on without challenging it. And so here's the thing. <laughs> symptoms that I wanted to share with you right but let me tell you what the dangers are what the dangers are first of all self lack of self-belief is going to prevent you from <laughs> your potential. have you ever said to yourself 
I don't know if I'm good at anything. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I have any skills. I don't know if I have any talents. I don't know what's deposited in me. See, that's dangerous because this is preventing you from realizing your full potential. You see why you got to have a belief in yourself? Because if you don't, you are not going to realize your full potential. You're not going to realize how great you are. Again, as I talked about yesterday, when you don't believe in yourself, you're actually going to have standards that are far below what you're able to achieve. Here's the other thing. When you lack belief in yourself, you automatically stop dreaming. You automatically stop dreaming. You look at your current life as this is the way it is and this is the way it's going to always be. Have you ever heard somebody answer this question when asked, so how, how, how's your day? How are you? And they say, oh, I'm just surviving. I'm just surviving. You know, I got clothes on my back, food on my table and a roof over my head. I'm surviving. I mean, here's the thing. We're not put here to survive. We're put here to live, right? When you think about it, animals survive. I'm just being upfront with you. Animals survive, but we are human beings. We're supposed to live, and we're supposed to live life abundantly. And so when you lack a belief in yourself, you are going to stop dreaming. And none of us can really afford to stop dreaming. Here's the other thing. When you lack belief in yourself, your relationships become chaotic your belief your relationships become chaotic because what happens is your insecurities you throw them off on somebody else you throw them off on somebody else whereas you really should deal with what's going on with you you will start blaming and so your relationships become chaotic and here's the other thing when you lack self-belief you begin to engage in self-sabotaging behaviors. And these are any behaviors that create problems or interfere with your goal. Any behaviors that you may be doing right now that is creating a problem for you or it is interfering with you achieving your goals, that is considered self-sabotage. And those behaviors are the result. They are the end result when you don't believe in yourself. Is this good stuff or what? Right? And so I'm here to tell you today that if you are experiencing any of these symptoms that I have just talked about, then that's the indicator that you really don't have the proper belief in yourself and guess what it's, it's 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 okay for now only because you are identifying it but I promise you it is totally not okay to stay there it's okay to identify this is where you are because again you got to know where you are in order to get where you want to be but it's not okay to stay there and so let me share with you the opposite when you have the right beliefs and when you have the right mindset about yourself let me tell you the magic that takes place in your life let me share with you the magic that take place first of all when you have the right beliefs and the right mindset about yourself you will see and recognize opportunities see when you have goals and your belief is in the right place you will be so sensitive and so aware of the opportunities instead of missing or let opportunities pass you by and so the first benefit of having belief in yourself is that you're gonna opportunities you're not gonna let opportunities pass you by right the second thing is that you're gonna find creative solutions to reach your goals you know, you can look at um, you can look at certain impediments and allow them to take you. But you know what? Adversity is actually the mother of all creativity. Did you hear what I said? Adversity is the mother of creativity. And so when an adversity come your way, when you have belief in yourself, you will become creative in finding solutions to reach your goal. That adversity won't, won't um, detour you. That adversity actually will stretch you and make you better. 
that's what happens when you have a belief in yourself also when you have a belief in yourself you're going it's going to stimulate you into action it's going to stimulate you into persistence because belief makes you want to take actions on your goal and it also makes you endure to the end do you see why it is so important for you to have a proper belief in yourself because here's the thing when you are confident when you are confident you continue to move forward because you already know that you're going to achieve your goal at the end and then the last thing I want to share with you is that belief will attract helpers when you believe in yourself you will attract helpers because attractive people attract attractive people see when people see that you believe in your goals and they see that you believe in your ability to make them a reality they will literally join in and help you they will join in and help you and so when you have a strong belief in yourself you will attract helpers right and so listen when you look at belief when you look at your your self belief belief is not all that you need in order to obtain your goals but I promise you belief definitely opens up a wide path towards you getting what you want and so if you lack belief know that it just didn't show up it just didn't show up your lack of belief comes from past experiences your lack of belief comes from past failures and your lack of belief can literally come from other people planting seeds of doubt that have now become a part of your very existence. Did you hear what I said? Lack of belief didn't just show up. It comes from our past experiences, it comes from past failures, and it could come from people planting seeds of doubt that have now become a part of who you are. And so you can learn to believe in yourself. That's the good news. That's the great news today. You can literally learn to believe in yourself and one way that you learn you learn to believe in yourself I believe this is my what I believe is that you have to become aware of what you're thinking you have to become aware of what you are thinking about here's the thing any thought that makes you feel negative or any thought that makes you feel inferior needs to be challenged don't just let it linger Take it captive and challenge it when it shows up. Did you hear what I say? Take a look at what you're thinking about. Take a look at the beliefs that you are operating on so that you can identify where you are. Are you one that believe in yourself or are you one that lack belief? Right? Because again, self-belief opens up the path towards you getting what you want. And so I want to invite you to really begin to delve into this topic of self-belief so that you can eliminate any beliefs that are limiting you from being the best that you could possibly be. Any beliefs that have you creating standards that are far below what you're able to achieve and so if you're looking for assistance in this particular area because again this may be the reason why you haven't gotten from point A to point B or point B to point C and so on because you don't have the right beliefs in place so what I like to do is invite you to do two things one I want you to go ahead and schedule a complimentary coaching session with me so that we can really dig deep and figure out where did these beliefs come from and how we can get you on the other side right it's a 30 minute complimentary coaching session where I can find out where your beliefs are right now and we can really begin to dig deep to see the beliefs that you're holding on to that are not serving you and how we can begin to remove them and replace them right and then the second thing I want to do is invite you to participate in my December 6 master class called advanced goal setting I want to be able to help you develop strategies that's going to help you create the perfect goals for 2017 I want to help you um, 
identify and learn strategies that will literally help you take your big goals and break them down into smaller chunks so that you can put them in your schedule and make them a reality in your life, right? And so I challenge you today to register, right? Because I only have spots for 30 people and I announced this Friday and I promise you people are registering left and right. They're, they're registering in the morning, in the wee hours of the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And so I'm already knowing that within the next week those 30 slots are going to be filled. And the reason why I'm limiting it is because I really want to serve you. I want to be able to make it private and intimate so that I can address any questions that you have along the way. So it's going to be just one hour. It's a virtual course, so you can participate in the comforts of your living room, in the comforts of your home. Even if you're out and about, you can participate. And for those who register, I will also make the recording available so that you can watch it over and over and over again, okay? And so listen, this course is only going to be $17. $17 for 2017. And so get registered today, claim your spot so that you know that you are already in and don't miss out on this great opportunity because again, we want to make sure that your 2017 is going to be better than your 2016 and your 2016 could have been great, but we want to make it better. And then your 2016, you could say, hey, this wasn't a good year for me. Well, we want to make sure that that's not repeated in 2017 by being proactive, right? By being proactive. So listen, you don't have to think about if you're going to invest. In you just got to do it because I know this. When it's important, when it's important, you will find a way. But if it's not important, you will make an excuse. So don't let $17 stop you from investing in yourself because when you invest in yourself that is the best investment that you can possibly make and so listen I appreciate you all joining today make sure that you share this broadcast don't keep it to yourself make sure that you share this broadcast but before we go I want to make sure if there are any questions you can type in your questions you can type in your questions and I will address those questions now. Maybe you have a question about the class or maybe you have a question about um, your belief system or something like that. Go ahead and type it in and I can address it before we go. But make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you get yourself registered for our December 6th class. If you haven't already gotten your free ebook, go ahead and download that so that you can keep up with what we're talking about. And this for the last, this is the fourth day. Tomorrow we'll be closing out. Step one, identifying where you are and moving into step two. So if there are no questions, I am going to go ahead and close out today's broadcast. I look forward to seeing you um, on our complimentary coaching session. And I also look forward to seeing you in our December 6th Advanced Goal Setting Masterclass. Listen, go out and make it a great day. And remember, and remember, if it's important to you, you will find a way. If it's not important, you will make an excuse. God bless you.